morning, friends. It is Saturday, the what? Tenth? Eleventh? No, eleventh is tomorrow because that's the Super Bowl. So today is the tenth. Um, so today's video is actually kind of a hodgepodge. Um, I had started filming um, for From Scratch February, and so I was getting things all situated and ready, and then. Um, if you follow us on Instagram, you know that we had um, a couple really big changes happen. Um, and so I had to cancel, I guess cancel, uh, doing From Scratch February this month. Um, well, that's sad for me because I I don't know. I, I enjoy doing it and I put a lot of effort into it. Um, the changes that have and have and are taking place here on our homestead um, take precedence. So uh, anyway, we will um, get into a few recipes today. I think I got two, um, French bread and um, your own uh, Lipton onion soup mix um, that you can store. So I've got that. Um, we got the living room finally finished. Um, it's been since, what, a couple days after Christmas? So, carpet, walls, everything is done. Um, anyway, so like I said, it's going to be a little jumbled video today, but I hope you still enjoy it. All right, you have one and one-fourth cup of water. You're going to need, oh, I dropped something. Sorry about that. Two teaspoons of sugar. One and a half teaspoons of yeast. There's one. Uh, that looks like about half. Maybe a little bit more. It's really not going to hurt anything if you have a little more yeast in it. And then you're going to give that a really good bubble bath. And I don't know if I said it or not, but the water needs to be warm. So one and a fourth cup of warm water. And you don't want it too hot because if you get it too hot, it's going to kill your yeast. So um, I always use baby bath water temperature. If it's hotter than that, it's going to kill your yeast. So now that's going to set for a little bit. And while that sets, you're going to get three and a half cups flour into your other bowl. So you got your flour. Now you're going to add a teaspoon of salt. You can omit this if you are on a low sodium diet. That's perfectly fine. Or you can half it if you want. That's totally up to you. I just use some um, pink Himalayan salt. I don't have a specific brand. This is one that I picked up at Costco, I think. Yeah, this is one that I just picked up at Costco. So now I always use um, like to use a secondary bowl after I mix and then I'm gonna knead on here I use a secondary bowl I spray it or you could use um, um, butter you could use um, lard whatever you have um, I just spray it and then when I'm letting my dough proof to um, punch down um, I put it in here just because it's easier to get out when it's um, well greased. So I'm going to do that while our yeast sets up. Okay, so our yeast is good and active. You can let it go a little bit longer if you want. I'm going to use it now. All right, so all you're going to do is you're going to take, swish it around a little, get some of that out, pour it right in there. No, this is bread, honey. Let's mix it up. Yeah, I have to mix the bread up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, when daddy comes home, he'll eat some bread with you, huh? All right. So once you got it like this, okay, then we're going to dust our counter with a little bit of flour and then we're going to knead it by hand. Just a little. You don't need a ton. What? You stepped in the water? 
Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess mommy's. Yeah, I guess mommy's gonna have to clean that up, huh? No. I'm in the water. You're in the water. Whoa. 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 Elijah, did you spill water on the floor? No. You didn't? Are you sure? No. <laughs> okay. You did. I did? Yep. Who spilled the water from the water cup? You did. Who, me? Yeah, you. Couldn't be. Then who? Charlie took the cookie. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. We can sing the cookie one. Charlie took the cookie from the cookie jar. Charlie say who me? Me? Yes, you. Be. Couldn't be. Then who? Elijah stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Me? Yes, you. You did? Oh no. Okay, so now I've got it's kind of a, a ball, but it's a little sticky. Oh, you gave the cookie back? Oh, thank you. Here, you can eat it. You're welcome. So the dough's a little sticky, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more flour to it. You want it, you don't want it sticky, but you want it uh I don't know how to explain it. It's um, tacky. Maybe that's the word I'm looking for. Tacky. No, no. Hey, no. hey, hey, hey. Nope, she had it first. Please don't fight. Elijah, let go now. Let go now. Okay, I'm going to count to three and then one. Thank you. Does anybody else have trauma from counting to three when they were younger? Their parents doing it. Uh. All right. So it's not sticky, it's just kind of, I mean. I don't know really how else to describe it. But like I said, it's not sticky, but it's not it's not hard or or um, dry. It's just got a little light tack to it. Okay? So you're just gonna take it and put it in your bowl, put a towel over it, and let it sit for roughly an hour. This is gonna rise up. Um, everybody says let it double in size. So just kind of estimate. And when it gets big enough, then we'll come back. Um, while your dough is rising, you can go ahead and get um, a sheet pan. If you have parchment paper, great. If not, um, just um, dust your pan just a little bit with some flour, kind of like we did right before we kneaded, just a light amount of flour, spread it out, um, and then you can set this to the side. Now remember this, batch is going to make two loaves. They're not going to be huge loaves, just smaller loaves or whatever, but um, you want it big enough so you can either put one here and one here or one here and one here with some space in between. All right, let's fix that. Well, best as it's going to get. Okay, so my dough has doubled in size at least and take it and just punch it down I don't know if you could hear it, it kind of deflates itself pop it out of the bowl we're gonna split it in two and then we're just gonna make a couple loafs out of it don't have to worry we're not doing any creating tension or anything like that like you do with um, sourdough. This is just, we're just kind of making a big old hot dog roll out of it, I guess, is a good way to explain it. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want... You could leave this as one giant roll. Um, 
member though. I, however, am using it to um, do two different things, so I'm that's why I'm making two separate rolls out of it. And I'm just pinching the bottom. Um, you do not have to do this. This is just, I'm trying to give the top of it um, a little more, I don't know, rounded. See, like that. All right. So, yeah, we can probably do like that. One, and then we'll do the other one. <clears throat> now, the, um, the recipe for French bread and the recipe for um, my white sandwich bread is fairly similar. Um, with my sandwich bread, there is eggs and milk in it. Um, but otherwise, the rest of the ingredients are pretty darn near the same. Again, you don't have to do this pinching on the bottom thing. All it's doing is when I pull it like that, it just kind of makes the top um, more flat, not bumpy, I guess is a good word for it. <laughs> I don't get all technical when it comes to my bread making, I guess. Something like that. All right, put it on there. Now we're just gonna score it a little bit. I don't have no expensive tools, just a knife. I'm not scoring it terribly deep, just, you know, just enough. All right, so we got it like that. Now we're going to do an egg wash. Egg washes are really simple, just one egg. Okay, and then you're going to add just a teensy bit of water to it. Like, if I had to say a half a teaspoon, okay? Nothing serious. And then mix it up well. So you're like that. Now, in a perfect world, I would have a brush and I can brush my egg wash on here. Guess what? It's not a perfect world and I can't find my brush because I have children who like to play with it. Um, so we are just going to use our hands. It, as long as you wash them, who cares? So just, you don't, it's not, um, it's not French toast. You're just kind of just blazing it. You can do a little on the sides if you want. Now, I love egg wash on bread. It just gives the crust, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's not, it doesn't make it dry. It gives it um, a little bit of chewy texture to it. Um, I don't know, that's just my feelings. Okay. It's so like I said, just a little bit of a glaze. And now we're gonna let that sit and rise while our oven preheats uh, 375. 
Once your oven is preheated, you're going to pop these babies in for roughly 20 to 25 minutes or until the center is done. Pull them out and let them cool. All right, bread is done. Um, this one kind of exploded on the side a little bit, but that's okay. It's still edible. And there's a really decent one. So I'm going to let these cool off and we will use them with supper. So we are going to make our own homemade onion, Lipton onion soup mix. Um, yeah, I might not have enough onions. I just went and had Brett buy some and I might not have any, but we'll figure it out. So you need three fourths of cup of minced onions. Yeah, I don't have enough onions. That's okay. It's not going to hurt anything. It just won't have as much onion. Then you're going to need one third cup of beef bouillon. All right, one third cup beef bouillon. One tablespoon of onion powder. So many onions. So many onions, yes. Onion powder. Okay, one fourth teaspoon celery seeds. I don't have celery seed, so mine's not going to have celery seeds. One fourth teaspoon sugar. We do have sugar. We do have sugar, yes. Wait. Sugar. I'd like to borrow a cup of brown sugar. Oh, look at that. We have celery seed. Ha! Huh. Brett found it for me. You know what the sad part is? I looked and looked and looked. I remember we had it for another recipe so or something. That, that's what I thought too, but I don't know. Okay, so we're going to go back to the one-fourth uh, teaspoon. That's what I said. Yes, one-fourth teaspoon celery seed. I put the one-fourth teaspoon um, sugar in there. And now we need one-fourth teaspoon pepper. And one-fourth teaspoon pepper. There it is. Pepper. And then one eighth a teaspoon of paprika. So I don't have an eighth a teaspoon. And all I have is smoked paprika. So we're going to use that and we're going to put in a fourth of a teaspoon. So, oh my gosh, do we have an eighth of a teaspoon? No, but we have regular paprika. Oh, we do? <laughs> Look at that. And we have regular paprika. Apparently, he doesn't want me touching his smoked paprika. Me, 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 me. Yeah, I'll come out on the eight teaspoon. <laughs> okay, we so. We used to, but. Yeah, we did, but we have kids, so. All right, paprika is in. Now, you're going to mix all this together really nice and pretty. All right, store it in an airtight container. And this, I know it doesn't look like a whole lot. You can always... Double, triple the recipe, that's just fine. Shake it up. One fourth cup of this is the same as one packet of the Lip Lipton soup mix. And so what I plan to do with this um, is I'm actually going to, I'm making meatloaf for supper. So I'm gonna put it in my meatloaf. And then there was light, thank you. Um, just to season it up a little bit and let her buck. So there you go. Brett is crabby. Yeah, you are. All the kids want to be in here touching everything, jumping on everything, and he just wants to get the carpet done. So um, it looks grayer than it is, and I'm sure the walls have something to do with that. Um, it's a brown with um, gray flecks or whatever in it. Charlotte, you need to get out. Timothy, stop standing on my couch like you have no sense. Anyway, so we're just, um, what do you need, dear? Okay. Finishing up the carpet. I'm so excited. And then. So behind, behind this, there's a spot of blank and no carpet. Are we going to put some in there? Yeah, we'll put, we'll use one of these, um, pieces and put some in there. Look at that. You saw that. Everybody on YouTube is seeing it now, Brett. You're throwing things at me. All right, you guys. 
Look it, it is done. Well, 95% done. We still have, um, like you can see, oops, sorry, Sammy, right there, there's some trim. We had to get new boards, and so Brett's outside staining them actually right now. And then um, behind here is another trim that needs to be done. And then we just have this area that we have to do. Um, but the walls are gray. Abby, can you look out, please? Thank you. New carpet is in. Oh, and we have transitions. We have to put in the transitions around here and then around the other entrance. But, yay, it is all done. I am so happy. It's a little on the windy side now and the rainy side. It is uh, February 8th, I think. And um, we're going to go out and check... Hi, sassy puppy. We're going to go out and check um, uh, sap. So come join us. Oh, yeah, huh? We had a couple that didn't have lids. I thought you said there was like two. Oh, poor sassy puppy. Okay. Oh. So how many trees do you think we had that we didn't tap? Okay. Okay. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, but it's wet and there's lots of woodies. Hold on. Is it done? Well, how much should we get? That's not a ton. No. Well, we were late to the party anyway because we didn't think we were going to need to. But And then also, it's supposed to get this coming, is it this coming week? It's going to get a little cooler and then it's supposed to warm back up again. Yeah, that looks like a lot more. Quite a bit, yeah. Hold on, let me come over there. Yeah, I knew this this tree was poor. Yeah. This tree was poor and when I That's good. When I entered it. Good deal, good deal. Because of the year it might be a higher shoot. Ho ho ho, yeah. And who knows, maybe they'll run again. I'll have another ball. Okay. Yay! Well, at least we got something. Last year we didn't get anything because we had just moved here, so I'm okay with something. <laughs> 